Pathological thrombi can be extremely serious, causing complications such as stroke, pulmonary embolism or heart attack. Two different types of thrombi can form, arterial thrombi and venous thrombi. Here we will focus on arterial thrombosis. Arterial clots are usually triggered by the rupture of an atherosclerotic plaque in the artery wall, exposing the contents of the plaque and subendothelial fibres to the blood. In the fast-moving blood of the artery, platelets are rapidly recruited and activated at the site of plaque rupture and the clot grows quickly, stabilised by fibrin generated through the coagulation cascade. If the clot partially or completely prevents blood flow to the heart, this can cause acute coronary syndrome, a collection of conditions comprising unstable angina, non-ST elevation myocardial infarction and ST elevation myocardial infarction. Because arterial clots are rich in platelets and stabilized by fibrin, the primary antithrombotic treatment in the acute phase is a combination of antiplatelet and anticoagulant therapy. Guidelines recommend continuing antiplatelet therapy indefinitely to help prevent secondary clots from forming.